I remember the day of the Declaration of Independence of Israel. We had a radio, so everybody came to our home to listen to the radio, to listen to the announcement. And the day later, uh, Egyptian airplanes came to bomb Tel Aviv. It was a, a mixed feeling. On the one hand, great joy, and uh, on the other hand, fear that uh, there is a big war and the Arab countries are coming to Israel from each and every direction. All the children were climbing trees. It was unbelievable. There was one tree that had fruits like dates, and we were throwing them to each other. If this hits your shirt, you cannot remove the stain, and your parents will be very mad at you. Now, this was vicious. I read books endlessly. There's one book that I read 25 times the same book. Jules Verne, Mystery Island. Well, there was a hero there. He was an engineer. I admired him. I wanted to be like him. I wanted to be able to do everything like Cyrus Smith. And this is why I directed my life to study engineering. My role model and mentor was my grandfather. If I had a question, he had an answer. And I had many questions about science, about religion, and one thing that he did that affected my life later on was the gift that he bought me. It was a magnifying glass. And I was walking in the fields of Ramat Gan and looking at every flower, at every insect, at every small thing. And I fell in love with the world of small things. In 18 years, I became an expert in transmission electromicroscopy. During the time that I did my master's degree, I fell in love with science. I made a discovery of a new structure of matter. And this, this was important enough for me to win many prizes. And finally, after many prizes, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry 2011.